Hello everybody, I'm working on the Roban BLT. You want to know what BLT stands for? It's bacon, lettuce, tomato. Eh, not really. <clears throat> I use a Baja transmission back here in the back. And then they use extended swing arms. Well, the Losi arms will fit here. On the front, they use the front end off of a Losi 5T. And almost all your Losi parts will interchange up here in the front, too. They use the Losi fuel tank, the Losi battery box. So that's where they come up with the BLT. Uh, I've got a. O'Neill Brothers Racing 34cc engine in here. Got the good carburetor on it. Got a Bartolone pipe. And it, it runs pretty good. And it got a bunch of nice stuff back here. I got a billet uh, clutch housing and a billet bell carrier with a steel clutch in it. I'm uh, running a 17 tooth pinion with a 57 tooth hostile gear, spur gear. My problem I'm having with these things are the shock absorbers. The problem is, is you can't buy any parts for them. So if you need one little thing for it, you have to buy shocks. And a pair of them is about $75. <clears throat> So uh, I wanted to come on today to show you what the problem is and there's some ways to get around some of this stuff. And <clears throat> the last time I was running, I hit the driver's stand. There's four by fours going down to the ground and I caught one of them with my rear wheel. I was running too close to the, to the stand on the straightaway and I broke the A-arm here. And what that did was of course, your shock is hooked right here. That came back like this. And it broke the end of the shock absorber. It broke the end of the shaft off. And they break off inside these metal housings. And you can't buy any parts for them. So, you either, you're stuck. You just got to go spend 75 bucks and order a pair of shocks. Now, they do make some aftermarket shocks. And they, you can... Uh, they're about 150 bucks for a, a set of them, and if you want to buy some Losi shocks, they're about the same price, but you can't even get those. I want, really wanted to just buy a set of Losi shocks and put on it, but you can't even find them. So this is what I've come up with: <clears throat> uh, Losi, the Losi shaft will fit in there. That's the right size; it's seven millimeter. And the problem is. Down here at the bottom, with all this red anodized aluminum, there's nothing that can give there. There's no flexing or anything. It just breaks off. If it doesn't break it off, it'll just bend the crap out of your shaft, like this one is. And they're so soft. And if you don't break the end of them off, you can actually you can actually beat them back straight again. I've had, I've had to do that several times already. <clears throat> what I come up with to fix it is is a Losi shaft. Uh, you can get them from you can get them from anywhere that uh, that sells Losi parts. And this is out of the old 5Ts. They're still seven millimeter back then, which is what which is what these Roban shocks are. They're seven millimeter shafts. Here's the part number. I'll put that on there right there. You can stop the video and check it out if you didn't catch it. And then here's something else you're going to need. And this is what's going to solve all the problems, I'm hoping. That's the plastics bag that you need. And what, that, what that's going to give me is plastic ends on the end of the shock. And hopefully the, this will break off before it ruins the shock absorber before it breaks the shaft off. And I'm also going to replace these with these plastic ones. 
because that goes all the way down over it and it just makes everything solid. <clears throat> now this shock, this shock shaft is about $17. It comes with a piston, two washers, and a nut. And this plastics part, well I thought was kind of high, and it was $28. But there's all the parts there to do all four shocks. So if you wanted to get ahead of the problem, if you haven't broke anything off or bent anything real bad, you could just buy this plastics kit and put on there. And that includes the, there's another bag here. That's got the inserts that go inside here, the little metal inserts, the balls that go inside there. Those are in that bag there. That whole kit there is $28. And like I said, these are $17 each for the rears. I'm probably close to the same for the fronts, I imagine. Um, the only other thing I've run into so far is the holes in the original pistons, I believe, are 2 or 2.1 millimeter. Now this this shock piston that came with the low C shaft, these holes are 2.3 millimeter. And then the ones that came in this plastics kit here, these are 1.9 millimeter. So I think I'm in a dilemma now which one I want to put in there, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to put the 1.9s back in. Uh, the 2.3s are going to be I think those are going to be too big because I'm running I'm running uh, 42 and a half weight oil. I mix some 40 weight and some 45 weight, half and half, to come up with 42 and a half when I was running the original pistons. So I think I'm going to run these 1.9 millimeters with 40 weight. That should be pretty close to where I was before. But anyways, I thought I would share that with everybody. If you don't want to buy shocks and you want to upgrade them a little bit, these are these shafts are a lot harder, these Lussy shafts. They won't bend as easy as those Rovan ones will. Um, it's, it's a pretty good upgrade. So anyways, if you got any questions, just leave them down in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you when I can. Everybody have a nice day. Bye-bye.